Okay. I had said that I would make a video to show someone on YouTube about changing out processors. So what I did was I purchased a uh, another T7400. This is this is the one that has been seen before. The one I purchased is actually down on the floor beside me, having Windows 7 Professional installed on it. But it can with a dual quad core 3 gigahertz. This machine right here, my one I've had for a while, has a dual quad core 2.66 processors in them. So I purchased, and I showed that, 3.16 processors, dual quad cores, to go in it. So, that's what this video is, is showing me installing those processors. I had to go get a longer screwdriver because I knew I would need it. All right. This is how long it takes. Start the timer. If you're worried about it, let me show you. Now that's not really in the way. Now, I know it's already drained, but it's good to hold the power button. Make sure that it's drained all the power. Load. Just hold it for a few seconds. I mean, I already know it has been. And I was using this computer not that long ago, just a few moments ago. So it's a little bit warm, so you got to let that cool off. Because you don't want it being some weird warp pop up on it. That came off not. I could actually take that out and it'd probably be easier on me than the way I'm doing it. But since a lot of people won't do it that way, I'm going to go this route. Okay. There you are. Now these things are spring loaded on this thing. So it's good to keep that in mind. You don't have to take them out like I'm doing, come think of it. But you do want to clean off the bottom of it, of all the old gunk, the cooling compound, if you will. But you don't want that interfering with the new cooling compound. So, I'm cleaning it. Don't have to be perfect. Don't get hung up on being perfect. But make sure you get all the stuff clean. Okay? Alright. Now, that's one. Now we got the other one. Now the T5400 would follow the same procedure, but you've got more open space with it. And the, uh, the heat sink isn't quite as long either on it. So it's something to keep in mind. Alright, same thing. Got to clean it. Got to clean all that gunk off of there. See how it's a lot of junk? Got to clean it. Because that will interfere with the new stuff you're putting on. 
And we don't want that. So, cleaning. Make sure there's no high spots. That's that. Now that one's clean. We are so clean now. All right. Now down in here, there's a little release. Let it up. That lets the other side flap open. You can grab the old processor. Make sure that you put the new one in where it looks just like the old one. It's got a notch where it won't let you put it in wrong anyway, but it's a good habit to make sure you follow the exact same pattern. Okay, so now that one's got gunk on it, but it's the old processor. We don't have to clean it right now. I am going to clean it. Because I, I keep these even though I take them out. I got a set or two of the old two, two gigahertz quad cores. Because that's what my first system had in it was dual quad core two gigahertz. Okay. Now that you got that, you need some heating stuff. Make sure it's coming out right. Okay. Make sure it's coming out. Now, doesn't take a lot. A lot of people just put one little blob in the center. Well, I do a little more than one little blob in the center. But I don't trust that one little blob in the center trick. Never have. I know it's supposed to be fine. And if you want to do it that way, that's your business. But me, I'd rather put a little bit more and make sure that it's going to go. Just to be on the safe side. Call me picky. All right, so there we go. We got the good stuff on there. And up there to keep. So I've actually used this on two other processors before that, and it's supposed to be like single use. Now, and that's it's the medium grade stuff. So it's. Get these back in here where they need to be before I put it back in there. I didn't have to take these all the way out like that. Anyway, so now these go back in here like this. Right back where they was at. I've got a little notch that'll catch. I don't like to tighten them all the way down at first. I like to get them all going before I tighten them all down. Okay. So then I'll do a little wiggle. Then I'll tighten them down. Now these things all have to be blistering tight. They just need to be snugged up. So 
So you go around them once. That way you know you're not making some weird stress on your motherboard. You just snug them up the first time. Okay, then you get a little bit more. Second time. And there you go. Then you move on to the next one. Same thing. Drop it in there. Now you can you can skip that one step once you get used to doing this kind of stuff. You don't have to go around the second time. You can get it on the first shot. But to be on the safe side, it's better to do it in, in two two segments. Snug it up and then get a little bit more. And remember now, you're not trying to twist it off the board. You think it's a spring loader to hold it down there anyway. Not all of them. Some machines don't have springs. Okay, so there's the tightness. There's the tightness. There's the tightness. And there's the tightness. Now I didn't wiggle it. But I know that I don't have to anyway. Because I put this stuff all over the processor anyway, so I know I'm good. You put that one blob, you're better off to wiggle it a little bit so you can squish it around. I'm just showing you both ways. Alright. And that's it folks. Just a matter of putting the cover back on. comes to this one, the uh, T-54 don't, don't have this cover. Putting this back on. And then putting the actual sign back on. And that's it, folks. That's all it takes to change out the processors. Thank you.